welcome all who stumble on this video and choose to watch it. It is Saturday. I got up early and went to an estate sale and a couple of yard sales and then to my normal Saturday shopping spot. Didn't get too much. Got three items at an estate sale. Well, I got a few more, but that was stuff for me. And then um, nine items at my regular place. So that's a total of 12, which is far less than my targeted average number of items to source per week. Um, I'm pretty sure I will more than make up for it this coming week because I've got some extra extra shopping planned. So there are maybe two haul videos next week. Well, there will definitely be more stuff. So anyway, at the estate sale, I picked up these Columbia PFG Omni Shade uh, 38 by 30, uh, like, fishing pants, I guess. They're like a nylon track pant. I don't know. Whatever. Hiking pant. But PFG is performance fishing gear, so... And based on another item, I'm sure that they were worn fishing if they were worn. Pockets there. I don't always collect, uh, pick up Columbia, but I like the size. I like that it was the PFG. I'm going to add a pair of sneakers. They are these, like, burgundy. The brand is Anu, A-H-N-U. Never heard of it. Um, it does exist on Poshmark, though. I don't know if I looked really closely at comps. I just made sure that it was like a legit brand. And there was a bunch of them. And, you know, I could probably put them up for 25 or 30. Um, anyway, they're in great shape. Now, on the monitor, it looks like they're stained. But that's actually the nature of it. Like, that's it's got that there as part of the design. Um, I'll have to see how that photographs. Let's see. It's almost like, not really distressed. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But they're, you know, in really good shape. Oops. And they're actually my, you know, they, they fit me. They're a size nine, women's nine. So I thought I'd give them a, a whirl. Because I haven't been lucky with shoes, so I'm hoping that this week I'll come up with some shoes. Um, then there's this quilt. It's like a lap blanket size. Of course, I can't show the whole thing, but it is a fishing theme. There's fish and there's lakes and there's a mallard. Anyway, um, I don't know. I feel like it's handmade. There's no sign of a tag. The stitches are, based on the stitching, I would say it's handmade. It's very good, but it's not, it's not factory produced. So that's a good thing. And it feels like... Some of it is flannel. The back side is flannel. Super cute and excellent condition as far as I can tell. Okay, so that was what I got at the estate sale. Now, uh, what I got at my normal place. And before I jump into that, let me remind you, if you are not currently subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you do. I think I'm at 91 subscribers, which is sad because I was at 92 and now I'm at 91. But you know, it's not for everybody. And I do it for fun, so I, I'm not too concerned. But if nobody watches, then there'll be no reason for me to do it. Leave a comment. Say hi. Share your channel with me. I love to watch reseller um, videos, reseller content, whatever you have. So get on there. Say hi. Okay. This is... Sag Harbor, which is probably just like a, a department store brand, but it's a size 16, and I just thought it was a very festive jacket. I think it'll be good around Christmas. It has a kind of gold threading going through it. I don't know if you can see that. Eh, whatever. Um, it has a, you know, that Chanel Jackie O style, but it's zipper. It's a zipper, which I thought was an unusual take. So I would not have bought this if it was not uh, at an excellent price. But at that price, I chose to purchase it, obviously, or I wouldn't be showing it to you. This is, the brand is Tadashi Collection. Are you familiar with Tadashi? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. What you're, eh, never mind. Um, I felt like I'd heard of it. 
And so I did a quick search. I did find some Tadashi, and the prices were not like $9. So I'm like, this is a pretty dress. I'm going to buy it. It's, it's brown. And look at how it's got that, what they, what's that, you know, surplice front. Well, it looks like it is. It, it actually isn't really. I guess you could say it's a sort of faux wrap, wrap top. I'm going to go with surplice because it crosses over. And that's what surplice is. Something I learned not that long ago. And it's just, it's like that nice, what do you call this kind of fabric that you can see through and it's like crepey or I don't know what. And then it's lined. I think this is going to look really pretty. I'm anxious to see what this looks like on the mannequin. It's a size 12, so definitely this one's Zelda's responsibility, not mine. Um, not that I won't try on a 12 and like pull it back if I have to, but that should work on her. Some things do, some things don't. This is, um, I find this a lot lately on the, on the special sale day. Lulu, um, and I can't resist it. This pretty peach dress, okay, so it's got this high neckline, sleeveless, like, it's, it's short, it's a, I would consider this a cocktail party dress. This is not, like, just a summer brunch dress, because it's, it's a more formal fabric, and then it is lined, and it's lined, and oh, look at that. So it, it ends up being like a, a flounce, because the, or, you know, tiered, I don't know, because the underpiece is longer than the, than the outside, and so it's, it's slip material until it gets to the part that shows, and then it's the dress material. And then, in the back, it's, I guess you'd say backless, you know? It's got a very big keyhole or window, so I, I don't know. Would you call this backless with this two-button closure? I could actually see at a, like, small informal wedding, this being, like, a bridesmaid's dress, where you just want to wear something cute. Um... I don't know. What would I know about weddings? I like wedding cake. That's that's all I have to say about that. Um, okay, this is New York and Company, size 16. Now, why, you may ask, would I buy New York and Company? Well, I'll tell you. Um, somebody gave me a bunch of stuff, and a lot of it was New York and Company, and she, she had good taste. Everything was really nice, and everything is, like, in really good condition. She took care of things. And the stuff is selling. It's not selling for huge amounts, but it's selling. Um, and this is a size 16, which I like. It's a, it's a snake print. It's a nice... It's not cotton. It, it's... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like what a, what a track jacket would feel like. Um, I'm sure it's just polyester, but anyway. It's got that little little pleat down there to make it easier so it's got so it's a straight skirt sort of look but easier to walk it's not confining when you try to take large steps as i am wont to do this is i don't know i'm not sure this was a smart purchase the brand is asos i think it doesn't help that i sold a plain black asos t-shirt in no time so I, it makes me think, oh, okay, people, people like that brand. And I thought this was a little bit unusual. It's got this Peter Pan. Would you call this Peter Pan? I would. Peter Pan faux. Almost smells like it might be. No, it's faux leather sweater. Um, like a gray. Almost a heather gray. And it's long. And then ribbed at the bottom and ribbed on the cuffs. It's nice and soft. In the back, it has a little button and gives you that little, that little keyhole-y thing. Which I don't mind so much in the back. I don't wear keyholes in the front. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. Not going to do it. Okay. These are... I just... Uh, What does that say? Okay, I didn't even notice this. All right, this brand is Whoa, Zumba 
Wear, Zumba, yeah, Zumba Wear, size small. They're just some nice leggings. They have, similar to Yoga Wear, I don't know what the difference would be. They have this nice polka dot there. Um, but this is what I was looking at. It's in the back of the, it's in the front, but it's only on the inside. And it, it it's like a mirror image of, or I don't know, a topsy-turvy version of it saying Wonder is what I can guess. But it's only on the inside. So well, it's kind of cute to care about that. And then it's got this nifty little uh, picture, which I, I'm guessing is their logo, or maybe it's the international symbol for Zumba. Um, the long... Anyway, I, I can't take my yoga class anymore, so because I was thinking, oh, I, I can always use another pair of yoga plants, but I, my yoga class was on Friday mornings, and now I'm working, um, so I'm doing yoga videos at home two weeks now, and I have, I have done it. I have set a time. Friday, I get finish work at 3, I immediately go downstairs. I should be doing Zumba, uh, not Zumba yoga with, within 15 minutes, so well, that'll have to do for now. Okay, this is, the brand is Jerry. Jerry? Jerry, have you seen the jacket, Jerry? You gotta see the jacket. It's a breathtaking. Uh, anyway, it's sort of a puffy-ish jacket. It's a pretty color. It's in good shape. It's got this Sherpa lining. And I know when you need to find a size, you can look inside the pocket. It is a it is a large 1416, so it's a kid's large. Obviously, no rush to list this, but it will get listed. And let's see what else we have. Okay, down to the last two. All right. Anybody watch the show Selfridge? Uh, I love that show about the department store in, in London with Jeremy Piven. Uh, well, anyway, this is Miss Selfridge, and I, I won't lie, that's probably why I bought it. I looked up comps, and it wasn't like, oh, good comps. I was just like, but it's got Selfridge on it, and it's an interesting dress. It is a size... Two, which might be harder to sell, but in this style, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's very slinky. Look how slinky. Slinky, slinky, slinky. It's like, it's like a pewter or silver lamb, meh, pewter lamé. And then it has the ga this gathering at the sleeve. And again, this, uh, uh, it's not, it doesn't cross over, but the way it gathers, it's almost like it all goes there. I don't know. I have to see how this looks. It's got no stretch and no zipper, so there's no way in heck this is going to fit on Zelda. I'm going to have to try this on. Ay ay ay. That should be funny. Well, anyway, certainly not something I ever thought I'd see on my body. And then, last but not least, I got a pair of boots. Um, these are Born, which is a good brand, but not necessarily a great seller. But it's a good, good one. And I decided to get them because they're these nice, super comfy boots, booties, well-tended. Um, I think I'll take, I have a suede brush. Take a little suede brush to here, and they should be very good. Um, I tried them on. They are too big on me. So I am not the backup plan. A little zipper on the side. Their size. 9 medium. Oh, they're a big 9 medium. Because I'm an 8.5 or 9 and they felt like a 10. Oh dear. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to try them on again. I'll try them on with, like, regular socks and see. Because I feel like I don't ever like to say runs big or whatever. But I also don't want this to go to someone who, like me, thinks they wear an 8 and have a 9. And then they're way too big. So I, I have to check on these. And then I also do check up 
and see if I can find them online. And sometimes you can find, like, say you find something that, that sells on Amazon, you know, you can look and it will, or you can look on their website. It will say true to size or, you know, fit small, you know, go half size high, I, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Uh, like I said, next week I have some uh, plans for some other sourcing besides Saturday. So it's possible I'll, ha I'll do two videos. I never like to do them for too long. Partially because I don't have the attention span to watch a long one, or necessarily the time. I, you know, I sort of watch in pockets of time. Um, but also, my upload speed is like, speed is the wrong word for it. Though they did recently upgrade it like a hair. So I'm curious when I upload this whether it'll seem a little bit faster. Um, and again, consider subscribing. Thumbs up. If you subscribe and you hit the bell, then you'll know every time I put up a video and it's normally twice a week so tomorrow I'm going to put up my what sold video um, depending on how long it takes to upload it'll either show up tomorrow which is Sunday or Monday um, it's for oh, like eight days because I messed up on previous what sold videos and the video and the sales have been horrible um, but then starting Sunday I've had decent sales for me uh, so yeah I'm I will have a what sold video um, Say hi in the comment section. Hope you're having a great weekend. Happy Passover. Uh, talk to you later.